Hey guys, RunnerMan15 here, and today we are back with another episode of AI the Somnium Files. It's been a while. I will admit it has been a while since I've played this game. So I kind of don't remember what happened last time. So yeah, we're on episode four now. It's going to be a very long series. So last time we drove, we spoke to that one dude. Oh, that's right, her dad died. Forgot about that. Fuck to that hoe. And now where are we at? I don't even remember. So, you want to explain what the f the cop is doing in my office? Oh, we broke into a Yakuza office. That's right. I remember now. I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. Name's Moma, the warhorse. Don't give a f what your name is. All right, Moma. I have a few things I want to ask you. What do you know about the new Cyclops serial killings? Shoko Nadami and Renju Okiura had their left eye pulled out and were murdered. And I think you know something about it. Oh, you Sorry think? The news, but we had nothing to do with it. Even if we did, we wouldn't spill to no cops. A keyboard desk? What does a guy like the chairman need this for? They probably just uses it for porn. Not every man in the world is like you, Date. Damn! Okay. <laughs> Just roasted us. A bronze dragon. A bronze dragon holding a golden ball. Golden ball, huh? It's kind of frightening seeing all these lanterns lined up. Scary lanterns. Scary lanterns. You Oops. don't have to repeat it. This is full on about a chair. So I like to just click on every single thing. In this game is uh you never know i guess we talked to this fool don't know nothing about her you don't know nothing i know her face and her name it was on the news nothing else shoko was part of an investment fraud scheme and i have it on good authority that a certain yakuza gang was helping her Ooh. You about that, cop? Ooh, got you What? Chair yeah, where's the chairman? Right in front of you. What? I run the Kumakura gang. I'm Moma Kumakura. That can't be right. The chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. Uh-oh. What happened? You aren't the chairman. He you knows. Asshole. You need a lesson in manners? Date, wait. I did some research and discovered that Rohan Kumakura died last year. He left to his death from the roof of a building. Damn. In Chinese style. Suicide. But MoMA did not take over last year. MoMA took over six years ago. Mm? Six years ago. Interesting, but I have like no clue who these people are anyways. To say. You deaf or something? Date, a minute please. What is it? I don't think we're gonna get anything from these guys. Do you see the sofa in the reception area? There is an ashtray on top of the coffee table. What about it? It is peculiar. Thermal imaging reveals that they are both worn. The sofa and ashtray. I should be focused on something else. Oh, true. I can turn around, huh? One cigarette is lit up. Hey, Iba, can you turn off the thermal vision? Sure. I mean? see. The cigarette brand is Klein. Fine. Why is that relevant? Small details will come in useful later. Trust me. Hmm. That's not the sofa I wanted to click on, but okay. Part of the cushion is still red. Just as I thought. Got nothing to say to you. The fat one. He's holding his stomach in pain. I'm assuming we knocked him out last episode. Could be wrong. There would be no point in talking to him in that state. Ikaikin's beatboxing for beginners. Are you serious? Hey, Iva. It's pronounced partition and not partition. I know how it's pronounced. 
partition. Who calls it partition, bro? Who the hell calls it that? I don't know. Because you're wrong. Alright, I don't think we're gonna... Tiger yeah, road? Luck. Flying squirrel taking a nap. It is clearly a tiger. Another dragon. Dragon these nuts across your face. What are you talking about? You're the first guest today. Although you are an uninvited guest. Don't lie now. Someone was sitting on the sofa and smoking very recently. How do you know that? I just do. Oh, right. I remember now. Just a bit ago, one of our guys was on the sofa. Are you talking about these guys right here? Yeah. Not possible. When I came in... You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. Who's this asshole? Neither of them was on the sofa, and neither of them was Ooh. smoking. Where's the third Who guy? Left? Who left? Uh, an insurance salesman. Right before you came in. I don't think so. I didn't pass by anyone on my way here, and I happen to know this office only has one entrance and one exit, which means whoever it is is still, still in here. This office somewhere. Let me check the back. Why you want to do that? I just wanted to say hello to our guest. I'm telling you, you're the only one here. Oh, then you won't mind me checking. Just get out of here, cop. There must be someone they don't want us to see. Somewhere behind that wall. I can't do like some thermal vision or some crap and look through. Oh, I can. Let's go. Who is this, bro? Just as I thought. This must be whoever was sitting on the sofa and smoking earlier. My revolver can shoot right through this wall. I should shoot him. Wait. Why? What? <laughs> I should shoot him. Hmm. Is he not getting enough? What? Enough what? Meds? What? Never mind. The person behind the wall is unarmed. I cannot approve the use of revolver in this situation. Evil. Damn it. Oh, he's going. He's gonna check it out. He can pull out the gap, bro. Oh, sh pulled out the gap. Shoot him. What the hell is this? What? What? Wow. What? What? Oh wait, I'm playing a quick time event with the words porno mag in it. Hey, did you just shoot at me? Ooh. What the fudge? Why he got a minigun? Yo! Okay, well, wait a minute. Yo, he got the gas! It's gonna kill everyone there! Damn! Oh, sorry, she got the wrong person. What is going on? Oh shit, quick time event. He shot the ball. Oh, can she see into like the future? What am I looking at? Just do it. That don't look like explosive rounds. I'm just saying. Bro, what what do I press? Control? What was that quick time event? What? That didn't look very explosive. What? What? Aw. They just got RKO'd by a piece of gold, bro. It looked like they, it, 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 it like fish slapped them. You saved me. I got an achievement for that. 
Okay. You simulated this? Where's this porno bag? Bro, can you shut up? Holy crap. You idiot. There is no adult magazine. However, I know that your reaction time is up to 3.6 times faster when you are excited. Huh? I simply took advantage of that behavior. What the hell? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You're a grown man. Aren't you too old to be playing with toys? Shit. What is bro's gun? Is bro playing call, hey, call of the wild? I see you. Show or your the face. hunter call of the wild? Who is it? Bro got... Who is this one? You. Who's this guy? That's Sejima. So, Congressman. What is this guy doing here? Congressman? Yo. I went to work, then went home. Are you sure about that? So, you have no alibi. No, I always have my bodyguards near me. If you want to, you can ask them. Bodyguard testimony can be unreliable. There is a possibility well, no that they would lie to protect Mr. Sejima. Yeah, no crap. I agree. I can't trust that. Why did bro have a mini gun, bro? Look at that crab. You see that? Old fashioned? That's not old fashioned. That's a damn mini gun. Why does bro have that? What, <laughs> what the hell? Who are your ops? I want to know. There's no, there's no reason you should have a damn Gatling gun, dog. I've had a relationship with the Kumakura since back when Rohan was running things. Why are you telling me this? I had business nearby, so I stopped here for a visit. A visit. Whatever conspiracy theory you're imagining in your head, you can forget it. This is strictly business. Strictly business? A congressman meeting with Yakuza? How are you going to spin that? It's true. I imagine my public image will be dragged through the mud. But we haven't done anything illegal. If you want to accuse me of such wrongdoing, then by all means. It's not what I want to I accuse you of. I just think such gossip is better suited for tabloids. The president of Lemnisgate? We aren't friends. But I did meet him a few times through work. What work were you doing to meet up with the head of an entertainment company? It was just some party hosted by some company or other. It's not it a enough. party. Events with those uptight stuffed shirts can be rather dull. So they have some young women from an entertainment office attend. Anyway, we only saw each other a few times. I don't even remember what we spoke about. Why you seem so angry, bro? Okay, Mr. Creep. Mr. <laughs> Thousand yard stare. Uh, well, I guess there's no point hiding it now. I lied earlier. When I said I didn't know her, I thought so. Why'd you lie? Why are you telling me you this? You and the Kumakuras what? were a part of the fraud scheme Shoka was organizing. Yep. Whenever any wise ass investors gave her trouble, we handled it. Exactly as I suspected. Hmm. I have a feeling this guy might die next. For just for some reason. Someone someone in this room will Shoko die next. Was affiliated with the Kumakuras. Maybe the congressman will, I don't know. Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. We were all at the tournament those days. I highly doubt that for some reason. We only got back this morning. You've been asked a hotel. They'll tell you. Doctor, Maybe. I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras okay. could have killed Shoko, including Moma. Huh. 
I've been looking after that guy since high school. It was the usual stuff. I had him help me with a lot of work. A lot of work? Now, it's kind of the opposite, you know? We're getting work from him. So, that's why I think this fool's going to be next. Because, obviously, this dude didn't kill him or Shoko or whatever. Someone is after these people. And I have a feeling that he's probably going to die next. Well, we were. Just, just now slightly. Dead, though, what work did he have you do? Eh, the usual. If Talon at his office was causing trouble or something. You ever get into any disputes with Renju doing this work? No way. He paid good money. I've never even gotten into an argument with the guy. This is just a slight I guess. I heard that the former head of the Kumakuras committed suicide last year. Yeah. What's it to you? Nothing at all. I just want to talk about it. <laughs> okay. Rohan was my older brother. He was my big brother. How are these fools related? My blood brother. What? Look. I, explain your relation. I would like to know. Six years ago, he uh, he got sick in the head. He got sent to a special hospital. You look a little sick in the head too. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. That's all I'm gonna say. You want to know more? Hire a private eye. Yeah, no crap is giving me a glare. The victim prior to Renju? I believe Moma introduced me to her. Introduced? We were just having drinks. Shoko stopped by to say hello. Right. We didn't talk about anything. They're trying to give me the runaround. Indeed. Date, I have determined that these individuals have nothing further to yeah, add. Yeah, about right. Even if they are involved, they will not volunteer any more information. We need solid evidence to move forward with the investigation. I have a feeling there's something fishy about this guy. Definitely something fishy. Right. Oh, pick up the phone. Date, a call from Lemniscate. Connected. Date, it's me. Um, you remember like how I used to call you if I was a game? Well, he's here now, so I guess I'm calling you. Okay, got it. I'm on my way. Where are you going? That's none of your concern. MoMA, Congressman Sejima, I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'll come back soon. We'll swap drinking stories. You serious? Hmm. Let's go, Iva. Roger. Roger. All right, let's go. Let's go to the skate. Hey, uh, what's up with Oda? I can't remember. Uh, oh, we're looking for this fool because uh, this is all really suspicious. Renju died in their restaurant, what? I think. Or, I don't even know. Congressman Sejima. Definitely At this point, I don't really even know. I don't remember. I, agree, but I, I think we're sure just questioning him. The new Cyclops serial killings. We need to do further investigation. Iba in the passenger seat? I don't see her. Ah! What the fudge? Impossible. How did a jellyfish get in here? So shiny, too. You are an idiot. It's me. Renju? Renju? What? Mizuki? It's me. Boss. Date, seriously. Then, are you mom? Mom? Idiot. They must have increased your dosage too much. My dosage? Anyway, you're Iba, right? Why are you here, looking like that? I just thought I would project myself. You seem lonely. I seem lonely. What do you mean by that? How are you doing this? I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. You can't see me through your right eye, only your left. You can't just pop into my eyeball without permission. What? You do realize I do that all the time, right? I know. Uh huh. Yeah, how is this fool related? Unfortunately, I did not find anything. Database that could connect the two. I see. However, I did discover some rumors on the internet. Most of them come across as gossip or conspiracy theories. But would you like to hear them regardless? Please. Mr. Sejima currently resides.
Lance and his Agu. He lives in a mansion, a restored samurai castle. Damn, okay. Now that's a house, bro. I want a damn restored samurai castle. For 20 years ago, Sosajima lived elsewhere, in the Kawasaki district to be exact. He lived there until he was 40 years old. So he's 40? Bro, how old is this fool? 60? Damn! That fool did not look 60. So he lived here 40 years ago? That seems a little suspicious. Sajima the explosion of the chemical plant so how did they sell their land right before a major catas catastrophic event that lowered the property value what are your thoughts i have a feeling maybe shoko was involved in that somehow insurance fraud scheme hmm the timing is certainly suspicious yeah see they sell that amount of land just six months before it happened there is another interesting fact after the accident so sejima purchased all of the land back for just one billion bro. yen <laughs> bro make it any less obvious so he's got 29 billion yen in his pocket and 1 billion yen of land correct despite the horrific accident the sejima family is no worse off oh they're much better off bro bro cashed in true but i don't see the point of it for more cash it's not like you got anything out of it yeah you got more cash that would be true but there is more to this story there is another important fact Either that or he didn't lose 30 billion yen. After the land prices in the Kawasaki region crashed. Oh, I'm getting a call. Uh, we will have to continue this conversation later. I am receiving a call from headquarters. Is this Special Agent Date from Abyss? My name is Akasuka from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. Okay, I am too. You need to hear. Uh oh, what is it? We got a phone call earlier from a prisoner at Prison. A prisoner? We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Why do you say it like that? Who is this? In here. I'm known as number 89. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shoko Nadami. No, you don't. And if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. He will kill again, you know. He? Okay. Take their eye while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. I'll be seeing you. Probably not gonna this give us crap. To prank. Yeah. That's what I thought too. However, we got the call yesterday afternoon. Before Reggie was killed. Hmm. And I, and I wasn't informed about this In other words, earlier. You're saying he predicted the second crime? Yeah. Why I thought I should contact you. Okay. Good idea. Thanks, detective. Good luck. Interesting. Do you think there's anything to this? I don't know. You don't know. Alright, we're going back to Limnescape. We're gonna go terrorize Oda. We're gonna mark him. There you are, oh. Oda. Date. What's wrong? You look like you have a lot on your mind. Yeah. I just found out online. The corpse at Bloom Park. That was Renju's ex-wife, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Does he know about so Renju? Was Mizuki's mom. Mizuki saw her own mom. And now he realizes how much of a dumbass he is. And I just I just left her. I was like 20 years old. But I didn't know. He didn't know. You would have known if you wouldn't have left. I knew her as Shoko Nadami. Her last name is different. I didn't know that was Mizuki's mother. I want to apologize to her. I need to tell her that I'm sorry. Mizuki didn't seem like she was angry with you. What? You met Mizuki? Oh, at the interrogation. That's right. 
He doesn't know I live with Mizuki. I have no reason to hide it, but it's sort of hard to explain. Yeah, I spoke to Mizuki at her, um, questioning earlier. You're sick, Date. What? What? Questioning? That sounds dirty. How does that sound dirty? Why are you making this dirty? I mean, Date did seem like he said it hella weird, but like, what are you on about, bro? <laughs> <laughs> this is actually Jacob. That's crazy. If I were writing a light novel, that's exactly how I would describe a sexy scene. What? Why are you writing light novels about little girls, bro? Yo, I think we should put this fool in jail. What kind of novels are you writing, kid? That's what I'm saying. What are you on about? Nowhere. Just doing my normal routine. What do you mean by that? I don't know your normal routine. I went to a doujin store to look at the new releases. Then I ate some ramen at Juro's and then headed over to the PC cafe to browse threads. Where is bro getting this money? That's my question. Dog, you don't have a job. Unless he gets paid for working at his parents' restaurant, in which case I don't think you know I don't think normal. he does. If that's normal, I haven't had a normal day in my life. What I'm saying, bro. I wanna live that lifestyle. No wonder you look like that. Anything. I've only seen Renju a couple of times. I didn't I think it's so scary. possible to be this bad at lying. Though it is plainly obvious, I did a thermal check on Ota's body. This is his current body temperature. That's what I thought. Have you forgotten, Ota? You're my thrall. You don't want me to tell Iris your secret, do you? Huh? She's like, what? Wait, it's no big deal. He's gonna rat on himself. Okay. Why are we doing this in front of her? Bro. She's invested. Look at that. She's like, what's gonna happen next? Last night, I was walking over to Sunfish Pocket, and I saw Renju come out of the building. Was he alone? Someone was with him. Why is he not saying anything? Man. Was a man. Or wasn't. I don't even know. A woman. Um. Bro, just okay, look, say it. I can tell you're trying to protect her, but you have to help me out here. Was it Iris? N no. It definitely for sure wasn't Tessa. Got it. So Renju was with Iris. I was he with Iris. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So Renju was a uh, child predator. That's what I'm getting. Yo, is it possible? I'm going to save that for later. Okay. That that could be a huge plot no twist. I don't even want to say it. I might sound stupid. You're right. Renju came out of the building with Tessa. Or what was Tessa he doing with her? Nothing to do with this. She wouldn't murder anyone. She wouldn't hurt a fly. I don't know. She's an idol. Idols don't kill people. Probably wasn't you her. You need but... to stop putting her on a pedestal. Tessa is a savior to me. Bro. Well. Tessa, I know, wouldn't hurt anyone. Yeah, the Tessa. You know. The savior? The first time I met her, I had a bad case of writer's block. And I saw all this awful negativity online, and I lost sight of what I really wanted to write. It was the lowest point of my life. He is talking like a professional, though he hasn't published anything. Yeah. Then, by pure chance, I found a video of Tessa singing and dancing, and it made me realize something important. Did you like little girls? I think that's I think I think that's what uh I think that's what I'm getting from this. You don't have to care what people think, you know? Okay. If you do your best at what you believe in, your message will get through to people. That attitude is something all great creators need to have. After that, I became a huge ASET fan and got over my writer's block. And I know I'm not the only one Tessa has inspired. A lot of otaku like me say that Tessa is their savior. She cheers them up when they're down. So there's no way Tessa can be involved in murder. 
absolutely impossible. Either that or it's a front. And she's actually the murderer. But I don't know. But do you suspect her? I need to hear her side of the story. If I do, I might find out she's totally innocent. If you truly believe that she didn't do it, you should tell me everything you know. But do it for Iris. We're gonna uncover something kind of nasty. Why are you looking at me like that? Don't look at me like that. Around 6.15, I guess. Where did they go? I didn't see. They got into Renju's car and drove off. And what did you do? I went inside Sunfish Pocket, but I saw a sign that said the entire club was reserved. Oh, shit. I figured I would just go home. Why was he taking her to a club? <laughs> What happened? What was it? Are you serious right now? She's right behind me. Date. Um, she's right behind me, isn't she, guys? Uh, guys, don't look now, but she's right behind me. Iris, there's something I need to ask you. Come with me. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Oh, okay, she didn't hear any of that, I guess. Police had orders. Sunday. I'm, dude, I'm working on a Sunday? That sucks, bro. Bro, I'm putting the pressure on her, dog. Damn. Got the camera and everything. Why do we need a camera? We got Iba. She can just record everything. Doesn't need Iris, to be feel threatened by the I'm camera. Going to ask you some questions. Please answer honestly. You got her all. However, nervous. do not have to say anything that might incriminate you. The right to remain silent. Where is bro's lawyer? Yo, Saul. Saul. Saul, come in. Come on, bro. You're treating me like a criminal. Not exactly. I'm just looking for the truth, and I would appreciate your cooperation. I heard you used to work at Sunfish Pocket. That's right. How long? A little over a year. Hmm. Working there that long, you're probably pretty familiar with the equipment. I don't know. I'm starting to think that she didn't yeah, do it. I guess. It'd be crazy if she did, though. What about the surveillance camera? Do you know where those tapes were stored? What are you trying to say? Here's what Ota told me. Yesterday around 6.15 p.m., you and Renju came out of the Sunfish Pocket Building. Is that true? Yes. Mr. Okira called me and told me he wanted me to come to Sunfish Pocket ASAP. Around what time was that? 5 p.m., I think. It was there for an hour, okay. I got okay. ready, then headed over there. I guess I got there about an hour later. Okay, so she was there for like two minutes and then she Daddy, left. I checked her call history. At 4.58 p.m., there is a record of a call to Iris from Renju's phone. Okay, she's not lying about that. What were you doing with Renju? He asked me about a job. What kind of job? He rented out Sunfish Pocket for a party and he wanted me to MC. He said that it was an important party and that a lot of big shots were going to be there. Okay, so Renji is in child prayer. Okay, that's your thing. But the girl he asked to do it originally got sick and couldn't come. But I turned him down. Why? Because I'm just an internet idol. I've never done any MCing before. And you don't want to be DJ? Especially with important people being there. Bro, I bet you was pissed. He's like, bro, are you serious? Bro, she really got ready and left. Just be like, mm, no. What did you do after you turned him down? Why did she get in a car with him? That that's my question. I left with Mr. Okira at 6:15 p.m. That must have been when Ota saw me. And after that? I asked Mr. Okira to take me home in his car. I got home at 7 p.m. I was home the rest of the night. What do you think, Iva? I cannot detect any contradictions. However, her story appears almost too organized. What I'm saying. Human memory is ambiguous. Her use of exact times leads me to be suspicious. Like she prepared for it? That's true. Like this is just a story that she's saying? When did you find out Renju was killed? This morning, on the news. And you were with Renju last night? You didn't think to call the police and inform them of this? Oh, sorry. Is that something you're supposed to do? 
Bro. I had a podcast to record this morning, so... Bro. If I went to the police, I'd be late. And that would cause everyone a lot of trouble, you know? Cap. I'll call Cap, bro. A podcast? Are you serious? You ain't Joe Rogan. This is the last what thing we can ask her. What were you doing from 7 to 9 last night? I was at home the whole time. You're sure? Yes. I have a thermograph. There is no noticeable rise in Iris's body temperature. She isn't lying. Not necessarily. We must consider the possibility that she is a natural liar. But with that kind of confidence, her temperature wouldn't change. Correct. Renju's estimated time of death was 8 p.m. last night. If Iris's story is true, she couldn't have done it. There is another possibility. Even another? if Iris was at home, she could have killed Renju. You mean... What do you mean? I'll ask again. You are sure you were at home around 8 p.m. yesterday? Yes. Can I ask your mother about your alibi? You can, but there'd be no point. Why is that? My mom wasn't home. She came back home early this morning. This morning? Wait, your mom? Yo. Hold yeah. up. Where was she? I don't know. You don't know. Come to think of it. Iris's mom had connections to Renju too. Hitomi did mention that yesterday. Hmm. I think it's starting to Renju was come together now. We've known each other for 20 years now. Hmm. Okay. Okay. However, we have nothing to link her to the case. No, but that's uh, what is it? There's no such thing as uh, coincidences. Yeah. Uh, I am curious. What was Hitomi doing last night? All time questioner, I guess. Go straight to the source. Am I a suspect? It's not like that. It's fine, Date. It's true that I met with Mr. Okiura yesterday, but how do I put this? It's impossible that I'm the killer. Why? I'm a teenage girl. Mr. Okiura is a fully grown man. Oh, she's got a point. A girl like her could have stabbed, poisoned, or shot him dead, but strangling? No, it's still possible. You see. Sedation. The autopsy discovered a high concentration of benzodiazepine in Renju's body. There you go. This drug is commonly used as a sedative. It is so you're likely sedated. that Renju was in a state of compromised consciousness before his death. She could have slipped in the sedative, and then someone else could have killed him. A heavy concentration of sedatives were discovered in Renju's body. Renju was practically in a coma before he died. He wouldn't have struggled. So, Iris could have strangled him. Wait a minute. Even if I was somehow able to kill him, the rest of it is impossible. The rest of it? Like hanging up his body? How do you know that? What do you mean? It's all over the news. That's true. Renju weighed about 160 okay. pounds. Even if she used her entire body weight, I don't think she could have hauled him up. Right. It would be hard for her to do it with her strength alone. But there was but the beer case. a little ingenuity, it could be done. Ingenuity? Yeah, we show the, uh... Show this. It went like this. First, Renju was laid out on the counter. Next, the wire was thrown over the beam and connected to the hook in his jaw. Then all you need to do is put the three beer kegs on the counter. You think a teenage girl could have done that? I'm sure it was hard. The kegs weighed 55 pounds each. That's not impossible, even for a teenage girl. I guess it isn't impossible. After that, you get on top of the counter, hook the other end of the wires to the kegs, and then, what do you think happens if you kick the kegs off the counter? The three kegs weighed 165 pounds altogether. Renju weighs five pounds less. Hmm, I guess that would make it possible. But... But there is one more thing. What? Considering the state of the crime scene, it's clear Renju was killed elsewhere and brought to where we found him. If Iris is the culprit, how did she move the body? Hey! I know, I know. You're going to say you couldn't have moved a 160 pound body. Unfortunately for her, she could have. How? Hmm. Elevator.
I know this watch. It's Renju's favorite. I found it inside an oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. The oil drum. That means... And the watch. There we go. Do you know what this is? It's Renju's favorite watch. This was discovered inside an empty oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. Hey, Date, I know you're on a roll right now, but could you please report things like that according to protocol? What are you trying to say? I'm saying that it wouldn't be so hard to move a body if it were in a cylinder. You would just have to roll it. So you're saying Renju's body was moved inside the drum, which is how the watch came off, but the suspect didn't notice it. I'm not saying anything for sure. Just pointing out that it's possible. I didn't do it! You don't even have any witnesses! If I were rolling an oil drum in the middle of the street, people would have noticed! You could have put it in a car and driven it. I don't have a license! Doesn't mean you can't drive. Even an AI can drive nowadays. Are you mocking me? Bro. <laughs> don't make sudden outbursts like that. You insulted me! Just be quiet. Um, who are you talking to? Okay, anyways. Anyway, Iris, you weigh about 105 pounds, right? W where is this coming from? If only you weighed more. Or less. That is none of your business. No, I mean that your weight is relevant to the case. If the oil drum was used to transport the corpse, then the possibility of the suspect being around 105 pounds is extremely likely. Why do you say that? The elevator. Definitely the, um... Okay. Maybe his weight. Iris, on which floor is Sunfish Pocket located? On the second floor. That's right. So, I checked the elevator records. Before the corpse was discovered, the elevator only stopped at the second floor once, at 8.55 p.m. And we discovered that the total cargo weight on the elevator was about 310 pounds. Renju weighed 160. The oil drum weighs 44. Together, that's about 205. Oh, shit. Subtracting that from 310. This doesn't look good. Why are you... Now, this obviously doesn't prove you're the murderer. A lot of people weigh 105 pounds. Or someone could have put 105 extra pounds in the elevator, sent it up, and taken the stairs to throw us off the trail. However... Date, stop. Iris is acting strange. Don't turn around. Why not? Just stay put. Keep your eyes on the wall. Okay. The boss is intrigued. There are several cameras in this room. Two surveillance cameras installed at the corners of the ceiling, and one camera on a tripod. I hacked each to gain access to their recordings. Look at this. Dude, maybe it's her mom. I don't think it's Iris. She, uh, she has to know where her mom went, because her mom wouldn't just be like, yo, I'm going. I'm leaving. Goodbye. There's no way. She's fidgeting around. So... She's not 100% innocent. I feel. But I don't think. I don't think she, she killed him. Something under the desk. That's what it looks like. But we need to confirm something before we confront her. We need to know that she's in fact doing something under the desk. Without turning around. Yes. Zoob. How would I do that? What is she? What is that? Ah, shit. Down. Iris, what are you thinking? What is that thing? Hey! Answer me, Iris. 
She's definitely hiding something, Date. She messed up, bro. Sink with her. Oh shit, we're gonna we're gonna sink with her? About to go into her dream? Is this legal to dose people with just medication? How about it, Pate? Think you can do it? Not a problem. I'm gonna have to do it. Started. Can we do this in ten minutes? I don't know. The time limit is six minutes. Or six minutes, but I only got ten minutes of recording. I know. I can't mess this up, dude. Then let's begin. Ass building. Like a warehouse or something. What is this place? It looks depressing. How is this related to Iris? Unknown, but there must be a connection. Iris, what are you hiding? Obviously, we gotta check out the TV first. Somnium scan! Activate! Mental lock number one, the TV. Number two is the window. Number three is this random ass room. Mental lock number four is the doors behind me. All right. Discover Iris's secret. A mysterious room, videos, and a strange device. You may be able to find the truth. TV. Go with uh, spin the dial. Stop. What does this mean? What the heck? What is this video? It is difficult to believe, but these are the faces of the victims of the original Cyclops killer. Did she witness them? What is going on here? Iris it's her mom. It has to be her mom. There's no way. If she witnessed them, then it's. Probably her mom. There are more objects to inspect now. Yo. Hey, mental lock number one's done. Tinies. Let's check out this over here. A torso with a head. If it has a head, is it still called a torso? What would you call it? Call it a mannequin. We're choking it. I didn't do anything. Unconscious, the room changed. It's got a complex mind, dude. I'm tired of this. We have no choice but to investigate. Unlock mental lock two, okay. What was the third mental lock? Crap. Okay. I definitely want to interact with this. Drug bottle that We're gonna investigate. Give us a good timing. Probably did. I agree. 
We should not even insomnia. Okay. Then we won't worry about that. An operator. Sleep? What if we... How does it feel? Awful. Am I going to be killed? I'm restless. I can't take the suspense. Do you think they'll modify you into a grasshopper or a spider? That's not what I'm talking about. Yeah, that didn't help. Maybe the oil drum. Oh, that doesn't do anything. The mirror, it has to be the mirror then. Maybe we throw the nitroglycerin onto the, uh... Oh, there's still the TV in the back, though. Go check this out. An old television. Didn't do anything. Oh, it did. What the heck? Look, there's someone in the back. I'm telling you, she must have seen these murders. It was her mom. Or her dad. Who knows? It appeared to be the second victim. What is going on? Iris has something to do with the first Cyclops case? Unknown. I do not have enough information. Guess that means we have to investigate more. Indeed. Got almost nowhere with that. We have no time. And another torso have been added. Okay. I know what to do now. I, we might have to restart this, but I, I think I know what to do now. Okay. So what we need to do... We gotta go to the TV. We need to watch this. An old television. And no timings. Okay. Let's go. Need to push the shelf. Only a shelf. That shelf sticking out. And then we need to somehow get the gun. I don't know how, but we somehow need to get the gun. And skip all those who are seen those. An iron ball. Right, we literally need to throw right now. Throw it that way. Understood. Hit the torso. Now... There's the last TV. Over here. An old... Turn this. We've already seen this. This was the third big... Why does... There is a pop... She even reproduce... Date. Okay, so somehow we need to get the gun. We're not reference book. Medicine bottle, gun, mirror, gas canister, doors. Uh, locker. There's something we can do with the locker. Look. Let's go see what we can do here. Just a locker. It's all right. Shelves are knocking over. Okay. Okay. Rolling. It's rolling. Is it going to hit the gun? Okay. Hit this ball. No. 
Oh, shit. Oh. Boom, look at that. What is this crap, dude? Nitroglycerin. Okay. That is Damn. Was that? Okay, well, I mean, we did it. Gee, jeez, dude, look at that. Let's go. What does this give us? Who, who was in the mirror? It kind of looked like Date. But I don't think it's him. Are my suspicions correct? And it's her mother? Question mark. All right, I think that's all we are going to do for today. Wait a second. Day three, Sunday. We're already on day three. No? Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. We're going to end the video here pretty soon, but. We saw it too. The four murdered women are without a doubt the victims of the original Cyclops serial killers. That means. The murders that occurred six years ago are these memory fragments that coalesced in this Somnium. No. That She's not the, the original murderer. Them was. was me? What? Wait a second. Didn't I tell you? The entire case is a state secret. No matter how many times you ask, I won't tell you anything. The Cyclops killer appeared six years ago. I lost my memory six years ago. There has to be some kind of connection. Yeah, you're the killer. There isn't. It's a coincidence. There's no such thing as coincidences. Really? Really. You can't dream of something you know nothing about. That means Iris must know about the killings. Six years ago, Iris was 12. Did she witness the crime at age 12? And not just one, but all four? Hmm. Help me understand this. What I saw during the sink earlier, that was the scene of the original Cyclops serial killings, right? Yeah. So the person doing the killing was the original Cyclops killer. Right. Did you see him? He was... I saw... your face. The original Cyclops killer was... Me, bro. Or Date, not me. It can't be. That's impossible. Date, you cannot say that for certain. You have no memories past six years ago. Oh, so shit. perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. But I'm not the killer, though. Not for these. You're There's no way. Your left eye, so you steal them from others. Oh shit! I'm kidding. You can't be the Cyclops killer. Really? Of course not. Do you think I would hire a serial killer? No, but maybe. You interrogated Iris before the sink. What you saw in the Somnium was just a manifestation of the fear you put in her. So she thinks I'm the original killer. Okay. Computer. I don't believe there's any meaningful connection between the original and new Cyclops serial killings, I mean. Why is that? The culprit is not the same. I am absolutely certain the original Cyclops killer could not have committed these crimes. How can you be so sure? Because I can. Don't worry about it. 
Just trust me. Unless you're the killer. In the Somnium earlier, I saw someone else who might be the criminal. Who was he? I wouldn't know. It's probably her. The Sinker does not always experience the Somnium they expect. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. When using the Sink Machine for an investigation, we don't always see the memories we expect to see. True, oftentimes a subject will subconsciously want to express their dark secrets and repressed memories. That is why we see them so often in Somnia, and why those Somnia are so useful for criminal investigations. What is this picture of, bro? But this is not a guarantee. We cannot control the content of our dreams, after all. Remember what the boss said this morning. The original Cyclops killer has yet to be brought to justice. After the investigation got going, it was taken over by the government and classified. That was the last we heard anything about it. Of course, they paid lip service to the idea that the investigation was ongoing, but in reality, it was dropped completely. Okay. It's like I told you before. Dreams are pieced together from memories. Even repressed subcon- This can be expressed as an equation. Dream D equals memory A plus memory B plus memory C. This, of course, means that dream D is a fictional event. However, the same cannot necessarily be said about memory A, B, and C. Those happened in reality. In other words, fiction is built from combinations of reality. So what I saw in Somnium earlier. Yes. I believe Iris actually witnessed those events. Making it all the more reason that it's her mom. Okay. Summarize for me. Dante, it looks like Iris is about to wake up. Got it. Hmm. We're gonna have to question her a lot more. Hey, Iris, about that dream earlier. Dream? What dream? There is no point in asking her, Date. The subject of a sink does not experience Somnium in the way that you do. They will not remember it. Then what about the Cyclops killer from six years ago? Cyclops killer? I remember hearing it on the news, but I was just a little girl. I don't remember anything specific. You don't? No. What about the scene of the murder? I don't know. I've never been there. But... Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. So she has repressed memories of it, which makes me think all the more reason that it's her mom, bro. Has to be. You can't dream of something you know nothing about. Date, could you take Iris home? Huh? We do not have enough evidence to hold her. Even in Somnium, we couldn't find anything. The law demands that we release her. You cannot decline, Date. So we ask her questions on the way home. That's all I'm hearing. All right, well, I think that is all we have time for today. We will get into this next section in the next episode, whenever that will come out. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more AI Somnium Files content, hit that subscribe button. I am Runamai15, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.